How's it going, Mets and overall baseball fans? Welcome back to the channel. And folks, we have a really exciting discussion because just as we are around two weeks away from pitchers and catchers reporting to Port St. Lucie this spring, the Mets' top prospects in Brett Beatty and Francisco Alvarez have already arrived there in St. Lucie as they are hungry as ever to make an impact not only this spring, but for the Mets this 2023 season. A lot to get into based on recent reports. Well, well what we already know on the two players, but before we get into it all, all I ask is that if you're new to the channel, don't hesitate from Smash that like and subscribe on thank you guys all so much in advance for your endless support and of course i have to let you all know that today's show is brought to you by bet online bet online is your number one source for all your sports betting needs so make sure you head over to betonline.ag using promo code believe at bleav that way you get yourself a 50 percent off welcome bonus bet online it's where the games begin and now folks let's officially let the show begin because we just did a recent video the other day on brett Beatty, and we've already talked at length on what he's looking to do this spring and crack the mets roster as potentially they're starting third baseman if not just out of camp then definitely sometime throughout the year so make sure to check out that video if you haven't already but to harp on more regarding Beatty and Alvarez who we haven't discussed much of recent since him his himself making his MLB debut in the latter half of this past season let's talk about a recent report that came out from Will Salmon a beautiful article with himself and Brett Beatty that just came out please make sure to check it out links down below as always folks make sure to read it after listening to everything I have to say in this video Salmon did a phenomenal job shout out to him with the athletic does a great job on the beat for the Mets there but getting into further what this interview was is Brett Beatty who we all know that we spoke on in our recent video on him has been working all offseason extensively on his defense trying to get that thing right we knew that his glove didn't look too great in his small sample size with the Mets lean up to his thumb injury that derailed him for the remainder of the year being out with injury but since then Beatty has been grinding his absolute tail off working on that defense and no better man to work alongside than Troy Tulitz the multi-time gold glover as you see from the report here uh, that yes Beatty has been spending plenty of time with Troy Tulitsky down there in Texas working on his defensive game and what he loves about Tulo according to Wolf Salmon in this beautiful interview is that yeah he's not going to beat around the bush he's going to tell you how it is he's a straight shooter and that's exactly what Beatty wants he wants a guy that's going to critique him but give him the proper judgment and guidance to really not only increase his defensive ability but be the best third base as soon as human, humanly possible leading up to the 2023 season and according to Tulo unlike what you see with other players where they struggle with the amount of range and strength they have in their arm or their pure athleticism Beatty has all those qualities and then some he's a he's a hit first type third baseman which according to Chulo he loves now it's just about rounding out that defensive game he says yes it definitely needs some work it needs more reps but all he needs is more reps because the athleticism the cannon of an arm all that is exemplified when he sees Beatty training alongside with them and not only Troy Tulitsky giving that great experience of Brett Beatty to really ramp him up for spring training which He's already in attendance for spring training. Like I said, over two weeks, uh, right around two weeks away from catchers and pitchers reporting. He's already ahead of schedule and then some because he's not a pitcher or catcher. Alvarez, along with Beatty, is already there in spring training. They're, again, hungry, trying to get as much work in and get prepped for spring and have a big spring to get ready for the season as much as humanly possible. But alongside Tulitsky, he is also trained with some Toronto Blue Jays and Bo Bichette, especially, who definitely needs to work a little bit on his defensive game. We know that. But Matt Chapman, the multi Platinum Glove Award winner at the third base position. Are you the best defensive third base in all of the game right now? Getting to work alongside Chapman, that being Beatty, has been great for him developing his defensive game and then some. So a lot of pluses on that front, guys. So we look at Brett Beatty. He is destined to have a big spring. That's what he's hoping for. His goal is to not only crack this Mets roster, but potentially be a starter as soon as humanly possible. And he will have the luxury of that to an extent, knowing that Eduardo Escobar and Mark Vientos, as we said in previous videos, already are going to be with their respective countries for the World Baseball Classic. That means, again, that Brett Beatty is going to be getting a boatload of time there as a starting third baseman in spring and has a lot to prove and is playing to do so for this Mets team led by Buck Showalter. So now let's get into Francisco Alvarez a little bit. Latest reporting that we know about Alvarez is that even though I don't have the articles put up here, I know it's true. Alvarez has been working heavily on his English to make sure that he has a proper English language and dialect so there isn't that language barrier when he's working with the starters in the Mets. So that's great one. I'm so happy that he's doing that because not that players need to be fluent in English, but the fact that Alvarez is already going out of his way at the age of 2021 20, to make sure that he has the language barrier corrected to help him when working with the Scherzers, the Verlanders of the world, etc. One that when that is going to happen this year is great to see working on that game, working on his defensive ability. 
And as you see from these photos, both these guys look in great shape doing their respective workouts. See Brett Beatty here and Francisco Alvarez looks nice and slim. Not like, you know, a slim from what he usually is because, you know, he's a very stocky, really strong guy. But he looks like he cut down a couple pounds in a good fashion in the sense of really just working more on that muscle. He looks like he's in great shape right now. And I'm so excited to see what Francisco Alvarez is going to bring because as it's been reported by Andy Marchino and many, Alvarez is not expected to start the year in this Mets roster. He's expected to start in AAA because the Mets, according to Billy Upward, their GM, view him as a catcher and they want to develop him as such, which I'm in favor of. But what this means is with the Mets having Omar Narvaez and Tomas Nito, Juan Narvaez is definitely going to help pave the way a little bit there for him and that being Alvarez, as is JP Arncibia, the former MLB catcher who's now the bench coach there in uh, in the Syracuse Mets. That's where you saw the photo was taken of Alvarez working out. He was working with JP Array, which is good. Again, always good to have guys with experience working with you. But the point here is that Alvarez knows that the media and the Mets are kind of making it known that, yeah, we're not expecting you to make the Mets roster out of the jump, but we would like to see you with the Mets at some point this year. That's more fuel of fire for Alvarez, who last spring said that he would crack the Mets roster. And granted, even though that injuries were a factor into doing that and Darren Ruff not knowing how to hit a look against lefties down the stretch, were factors into him being brought up as a desperation tactic. No less, Alvarez is expected to get more playing time, more development at the catching position, and will hopefully be cracking this Mets roster sooner than later. Again, I'm in no favor of the Mets rushing this kid. Again, when you have the best catching prospect in all of baseball right now, a premier talent coming out of Venezuela who has more power than any prospect in the game, let alone at the age of 2021. 20, yes, you want to make sure you properly develop him, and I'm completely on par with what the Mets want to do, but this is an Alvarez, who is, again, destined for greatness. It's just a matter of time, and he's really going all out this offseason, not only to work on his language, work more on his defensive game, and his overall ability to crack this Mets roster sooner than later should not be out the jump, out the gun, I should say, rather, with the Mets in 2023. Again, this is a guy in just 14 plate appearances last year. Yes, he had a 167 average when he was rushed up, but he had a north of 800 OPS because he had a 280 or so OBP and a 500 slug. I mean, the power is just off the charts with this guy once he properly gets adjusted to MLB caliber pitching and grinding out those at bats taking some walks in which his walk rate at his age at this point in his career is right around the same as Brandon Nimmo's back when Nimmo was in the minors in 2013 so there's a lot to love a lot to be excited about with Alvarez in his future but one thing is certain that yes Brett Beatty is the guy to watch more than likely this offseason as the next man to crack this Mets roster and make an impact in doing so. Alvarez definitely has all the qualities, has more of an uphill type battle to climb, knowing that he's dealing with Omar Narvaez and Tomas Nito ahead of him. However, we do know that Alvarez is a stud of catching prospect for a reason, and he's hungry as ever once more to make an impact on this Mets team as soon as the year begins, if not a couple months in. And Brett Beatty, I think all the stars are aligning again for him to truly make not only a great impact this spring, working on his defense alongside not only will you have there in a great former third baseman in Eric Chavez as your bench coach, but David Wright, who's going to be in attendance this spring, helping out the Mark Vientos, the Eduardo Escobars, and the Brett Beatties of the world with their defensive game at third. A lot to like there, a lot to be excited about, but we all know these prospects are going to be absolutely something to watch as soon as the spring heading into the year so Mets fans I want to know your thoughts in the comments below how do you feel about Brett Beatty Francisco Alvarez doing their absolute best on their own right doing their own work to get the best possible production for not only spring but to make an impact for the Mets this year what type of impact do you think that they're going to have respectively on the Mets this this season whatever your thoughts are make sure to drop them down below and again Mets fans if you found yourself enjoying this kind of Mets content and you want to see more great Mets content like this don't hesitate from smashing that like and subscribe button Thank you all so much for your endless support. It's always greatly appreciated. And stay tuned for more great content, as always, as we get closer and closer to spring training. But until then, I'll talk to you guys later. Let's go Mets, baby. Peace out.